So, if you guys get sick and tired of these cheap filament sensors wearing out, this is about the sixth or seventh time on this print. Right back here is the culprit. There's a couple ways to fix this. Uh, one way is to just bypass the sensor. The problem with that is I run some prints that are two or three days long and I do run out of filament partway through a print. And so if I don't have that and it runs out in the middle of the night, then I am starting over again. So I'll be making a little video today on how to do a permanent fix on that. You walk over here on this other printer and I will show you, and then I'll walk you through the installation process. So on this one, I have removed the factory filament sensor and I've printed out this block. You can see right in there, I'm actually using a runout sensor. Now on these wonderful Chinese printers, I first experimented that with one of these piles of junk. It's actually this one that's completely disassembled. But as you can see, I have several of these LK5 Pros. So with what I'm doing, this is becoming a problem. I've gone through probably 15 or 20 of these filament sensors because they just flat out wear out. What we'll be doing is installing this block and it's got some recesses in it for the runout sensor and uses the stock holds. So let me walk you through that. So I got these off of Amazon give you a second there you can pause it if you need to grab a part number but this pack of five was seven seven and a half dollars somewhere in there so roughly the cost of one uh, filament sensor off of amazon or i think they're like 23 dollars or something like that for one of the filament sensors from longer so this is what we'll be using. Uh, there's three pins in here. And I don't remember which side. I believe we're going to use the left hand side, but it'll be inverted. So it'll be the right hand. But you'll just plug your filament sensor wire that's two prongs into one side. And if it throws the alarm, switch it to the other side and you should be good to go. So first thing we need to do is actually bend this tip over so that it's kind of rounded off. And that way, when you change the filament, it doesn't catch and snag on this sharp corner. So to do that, I'm gonna grab it with the needle nose. And just, I'm holding a thumb here so I don't break it off inside of the sensor. But there you can see how I've rounded it over. So we have this recess in here, and that is to account for where they soldered the components together. So what we'll do is just line these two holes up there. These are some extra screws that I had um, from taking apart another machine. You may have to run to the hardware store and just grab an Allen head or a little, little bolt. I like to get each side started first. Okay, now we'll install that on the machine. All right, we'll unplug this. 
Now I'm doing this and hopefully I don't move my Z axis so I don't lose my print, but if not, we'll just have to start it over. Now on this one, I'm gonna save these two screws because they are what will screw the, the attachment, the adapter block in place. All right, next I will put these screws in here and get them pre-threaded and we will come back to you. Okay, so I have screwed one of these in all the way so that I can see the hole in the machine to line it up. And then the other is just barely flush. So what I'll do is pull off the filament guide, slide it out of the way. And then I'll look down here and get this lined up. Okay, with the camera, I'll pull a little bit up. There you go. I'll get this one in. And we'll line up and do the second one. Okay, so here we are all installed. See if we can get an angle on this. So there you go. Now when you change filament, just pull off your guide to be able to feed your new in once you've got it in there. It will help hold it in place. And there you go.